oh, you know who he is. It's Mr. Rashad Ritchie. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Now, Johnny Walker Dredd, that's very disrespectful, calling him Mr. No, it's very appropriate. It's not Dr. Rashad Ritchie. He does not have a PhD, and his educational doctorate is a complete fraud. But whatever the case, uh, he's going after his favorite target, Kyle Rittenhouse, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Killer Kyle Rittenhouse has a new video game that in the game you kill fake news turkeys. That's right, yeah. Uh, these are fake news turkeys. I thought it was kind of corny. And I had a video where I talked about how people like this asshole are going to take it. So I thought it was a very bad idea. But too late now. Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse. You might know me as the guy who was recently acquitted from all charges in the Kenosha self-defense case. We about to bank up the fake news. Go to rittenhousegame.com. Pre-order now. Kyle killed two people. Yeah, we know. That monstrous SOB took the life of two individuals. Yeah, we get it. He killed two people. Everybody knows that. Kyle will tell you that. He traveled to a location. He brought a gun. Oh my God, he traveled to a location and he brought a gun. Oh, wait a minute. I've done that too. Before he did it, he said he wanted to. It's on a recording that was not allowed. Oh, Mr. Butter, it wasn't allowed because we have a genuine fear in our country of having people like you on juries. It would be. Great, if we didn't have to have motion hearings to determine whether evidence was admissible because we could trust jurors to only consider that which is relevant. But people like him couldn't. As soon as he saw the CVS footage, he would say, oh, he's guilty. I mean, we have too many idiots in this country, and that's why we have to have rules set up about the admissibility of evidence. And you are perfect proof of that. In the courtroom for evidence, but we have it here. And he killed two people. Yeah, we know. He killed two people. Got it. Yeah, he got away with it. He was found not guilty. Um, wait a minute. Can I hear that again? He was found not guilty in a court that gave him every favorable ruling possible. That's actually not true. It's an absolute utter lie. Let's see here. Um, did we get to hear about Joseph Rosenbaum's past offenses? No, I don't think we did. Did we get to hear about Joseph Rosenbaum's suicide attempts? Mm, don't recall it. Uh, what about Anthony Huber uh, putting the, the knife up to his brother's stomach? Did we hear about that? No, I don't think the judge would have allowed that. And uh, what about Gage Grosskreutz and uh, slapping his grandma and all of his burglaries and shit? Did we get to hear all that? No, the judge wouldn't allow it. So quit crying. Dr. Butthurt. Well, that's what his name would be if he had a real doctorate. But he killed two people. Yeah, we got it. Killed two people. Let, uh, write that down. There'll be a pop quiz at the end of this video. You know, I know people who have had to take the life of somebody else in self-defense. Whenever he says, I know people, get ready. It's going to get real thick. He makes up this crap every time, no matter what it is. 
no matter what the story, he always knows people he can rely on for nice old anecdotal evidence. He never names them. And all of their uh, stories sound a little contrived. Um, let me just say it. He's a liar, man. You can't trust him as far as you could throw him. Read his dissertation. That'll tell you all about it. They don't brag about it. They're not proud of it. When they think about it, it still hurts them. Wouldn't hurt me. Hey, man, you try to kill me. And I have to shoot you. I'm not going to feel bad for you. Screw you. You know why? Because they're human. Kyle Rittenhouse is now using the death of two individuals. That death of two individuals. Uh, let me guess. Uh, he killed two people? Should be alive. No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't be alive. That was totally in their hands. They made the decisions. They pay the price. They should not be alive. I, I ain't going for that argument. Mm -mm, no. He's using their death in order to make money through a video game. Where the message of the video game is to kill members of the media. No, not really. Although I knew that's how people like you, morons, would take it. But in reality, the video game shows uh, Kyle shooting uh, turkeys, animals, uh, hunting. But yeah, I get it. I mean, as soon as I saw it, I said, oh, hell, I know how people on the left are going to take this. And sure enough. That's the message of the video game. What do you think this does to the overall culture in this country right now of individuals who are willing to do the unthinkable because they believe they are serving a higher cause. Oh, let me guess. Uh, now you're saying that video games cause people to shoot others, huh? I thought that was out of bounds. I thought that was ludicrous. My, how things have changed. Let me give you some background to this insanity so you are aware. Uh, let's put up the graphics. Okay, promotional materials on the game's official website, which is RittenhouseGame.com. Well, go ahead and advertise for them. Market the game both as entertainment and as a way of funding future defamation lawsuits. All right. <clears throat> so it says fake news turkeys become Kyle and help raise funds. Uh, and it says this game will aid Kyle's legal defense against the fake news. The game does not yet has not yet been released, so there's no release date. Pre-orders are available. Uh, they are trying to sell this for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Mint Studios, the game's developer, remember that Mint Studios uses the game website to portray itself as an opponent of censorship and deplatforming. So Mint Studios, oh, they're opponents of censorship and deplatforming. That ought to piss him off. In other words. They hate people like you, Mr. Ritchie. Um, let's also highlight how they exploit the black community. So naturally, we heard the urban hip hop twist in his sick ass video game. Oh, he used rap. Oh my God. White people can't do that. <laughs> Kyle should have used some pop country. That would have really pissed him off. But would you believe me if I told you that this white male anti-Black Lives Matter killer? Actually, whenever you say, would you believe if I told you, my first reaction is, no, I really wouldn't. Because I read your dissertation. Literally quotes Malcolm X to defend what he's doing. Here it is. It says the media is the most powerful entity on earth. 
They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent, and that's power. Malcolm X. He's using a quote from Malcolm X that, in context, was referencing how narratives have been created against black males in particular, not white ones. Dan, thoughts here. Yeah, but the basic principle is the same. And that is that if the media wants to paint you as something that you're not, they have the power to do it. Malcolm X faced the same problems that Kyle is facing. Nothing in Malcolm X's quote says that it's only applied to black people. He was talking about the power of the media to destroy. And he was actually referring to in general. Uh, once the right wing was able to see how Kyle Rittenhouse was willing to play ball yeah. with their games and their tactics, I mean, they saw what they could do, honestly, what they weren't able to do with George Zimmerman. I mean, I thought George Zimmerman, I thought people would be upset with that after the Trayvon Martin case where he was basically able to walk free, where he was doing things like uh, going to events and posing with his gun. And I think he even auctioned it off at one point, the gun he used yep. to kill Trayvon Martin. Yeah, Kyle, uh, you didn't do that, did you? Uh, you had the gun destroyed and you thought, oh, everybody will understand now. What a great guy I am. When I have this rifle destroyed, I will show them that I am not George Zimmerman. I'm different. I'm going to destroy the symbol of violence, and I'm going to get credit for that, right? No, you didn't get damn thing. They're all over you anyway. You destroyed a $2 million rifle for nothing. And by the way, the sale of that rifle could have taken care of your legal bills, and it would have been paying for you to be able to go after these lawsuits. But you had it destroyed. Uh, who was it that said it was a bad idea? Me. We, we thought that was like an audacious level of just flaunting, getting away with killing someone. But the legal system rules it that it's justified for whatever reason. For whatever reason, like self-defense. Um, being chased, being attacked, oh, for whatever reason. Doesn't make it morally just, that doesn't make it just in for people's public opinion. Doesn't make it morally just, but in this case, it was. Lump it. And that they're allowed to have in this country with a First Amendment. But nevertheless, the right wing was leading up to the verdict and immediately after they had Tucker Carlson original specials and interviews with all of their pundits. And he's been working with those kinds of people to become a provocateur to do things like quote Malcolm X while uh, making a video game about his actions during a Black Lives Matter rally when we very clearly know what side brother Malcolm would have been on in this matter. Right, exactly. So, do we? I don't know. It was not a Black Lives Matter rally. It was a full-blown riot. When are you gonna figure that out? There were hardly any black people there that night. It was a whole bunch of criminals and they're almost all white. And guess what? Kyle was chased and attacked and shot three white people. You think that Malcolm X is going to be on their side? You really think that Malcolm X is going to be a Jojo Rosenbaum supporter? At any rate, like my video, subscribe to my channel. And no, nobody's going to be shooting journalists because they played Kyle Rittenhouse's turkey game.